When you stop and think what the countryside can give us in the way of sustenance, it really is quite astonishing. But it's not just food. Um, I've got the age now where I quite like a stick when I walk. And if you look at something like this, it just all comes from the countryside. This shaft here is from coppiced hazel. When hazel grows from the ground, it comes up in quite slender wands. And after about five, six, seven years, it makes stems that thick. They're chopped off at ground level. It's called coppicing. The sticks are dried, and then they can be used for fencing, or as in this case, for a walking stick. The top here is ram's horn, in this case carved with a thistle on the end. It must have been a Scottish carver who made that one. This one is very practical. It's a leg crook. You can catch your sheep with this by just working that round their back leg and bringing them to the ground. This is a thumb stick for obvious reasons. You walk with it like that. And this one has been made from birch, another tree that grows wild in Britain. I've got one here that's been carved with a ram's horn in the shape of a fish. But this really, I suppose, is my pride and joy. A hazel shaft and the head of a badger carved on top. Just look at the workmanship in there. You see, for the complete countryman, it's art, craft, and sustenance from the countryside.